Hello, my name is Richard Kessler. I'm the president and chairman of the Kessler Collection here in America. It is a collection of very high-end collector boutique hotels, which we do the design for. We have 11 of these unusual, unique, iconic properties around America, and we do the interior design for each of them. Art and music is a significant part of this collection. We have galleries, art galleries, in most of these hotels and where we sponsor artists from all over the world to exhibit their works and to sell their works. In addition, I'm a private collector of art and I have a place now to exhibit and let others enjoy my personal art collection. And this composes of uh, bronzes, paintings, mostly by contemporary artists, as well as jewelry and other forms of art. In 2014, I was approached by a representative from the Busendorfer Company. It was a surprise offer that I received that day. I had no idea when I came to work that morning, I would be asked to get and given the opportunity to create a artistic piano for Busendorfer, one for their collector's edition. Obviously, I was honored because Busendorfer is a wonderful company with a fabulous reputation and a company with wonderful history. As I began to think about this project, the project being the design of the Grand Bohemian Piano, the Busendorfer Piano, it came to me there were three criteria I needed to be very careful of and to be sure we adhered to in this process. The first one, which was extremely important, is to not to diminish or compromise the quality of the instrument itself in any way. That was absolutely had to be adhered to. The second criteria is that the design itself needed to be a feasible design, one that could be implemented feasibly. And the third criteria is that, is that the fun part, and that is creating a piece of art that truly was a piece of art of beauty. And so I wanted this Grand Bohemian Piano to be a complement to the instrument itself and to be truly a collector's piece of art. The next thing I needed to do is to choose the artist that I wanted to work with for the design of this piano. The name that came immediately to mind was Mr. Frank Castelluccio. Frank is an international artist of incredible talent, and it's been an absolute del delight to work with Frank on this project. Frank, would you describe, please, our design process we went through in creating the Busendorfer piano? Yeah, Richard, you begin with the sketches uh, to come up with a design, uh, and when you find something you like, then you create uh, scale model and once you have uh, your scale model then you go ahead and you build the life-size model and uh, from the life-size model it, which is in clay you uh, begin to make molds you make the silicone molds and you pour wax to get duplicates and once the duplicates are are, uh, are cleaned uh, you send them to the foundry and you get back uh, what you sent them in bronze. And from that point, the bronze has to be, uh, has to be welded and chased and the whole, ba the, the whole base uh, is assembled. Frank, you know, while you were doing all that work and you were certainly intense about all your uh, project, Busendorfer in Vienna was also busy at work. They had to do all the design work on the specialty case itself. And that was done and completed as you were completing your work. Now that all these parts are in Vienna, uh, they are now assembling all your work to their work and making it come alive. Well, Richard, this certainly is exciting to, uh, to be part of this and to see uh, my part of the project being the base being incorporated with the box. It's, it's so unlike any other kind of project I've ever done where I complete a whole sculpture. This sculpture is, is a combination of, of um, different artisans from around the world. It's amazing. Creating this Kessler Grand Bohemian Busendorf Piano has been a very enjoyable process. 
it has been one of the most enjoyable projects I've ever done. It's, a, it's really an honor to work with a great company like Busendorfer that has a wonderful history and produces one of the finest pianos ever made in the world. It's also been enjoyable and interesting the fact that we're working here in America with Frank, a wonderful international artist, and knowing that in Vienna, Austria, across the big ocean, there's another group of artists doing the same thing, doing their part. And together we've created something that I believe is an outstanding piece of art and a wonderful instrument for people in the future to really enjoy.